Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to My City, My SM, My Crafts, a joint project of the Bureau of Domestic Trade of the Department of Trade and Industry, SM, and the Philippine Star, with support from the Center for International Trade Expositions and Missions and the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. The Bureau of Domestic Trade of the Department of Trade and Industry is indeed happy to partner with SM on the My City, My SM, My Crafts project. With the Bureau's mandate of opening up more domestic markets for local products, implementing this joint program with SM to expose visitors in their malls to merchandise manufactured by provincial craftsmen, incorporating indigenous materials and utilizing technologies that in some instances may have been passed on to them three or more generations ago is a most welcome development. A substantial portion of these goods are made by micro, small, and medium enterprises that we assist in DTI. We believe that efforts must be taken to promote these items not only to preserve important aspects of our heritage, but to create interest and demand for these goods and to grow opportunities for employment and gendering inclusive growth in the countryside. We hope the public will join us with SM in this mind-opening and learning experience. Good afternoon, this is Efren Peña Florida and I'm happy to welcome you to my hometown, Cavite. Cavite is a province known for its history, heroes, and heritage. It is the cradle of the Philippine Revolution and the birthplace of Philippine independence. It has also long been known for the scenic beauty of its upland areas and its world-class beach resorts, making it a premier tourist destination. One of the country's fastest growing provinces is home to four SMOs in Bacoor, Las Marinas, Molino, and Rosario. As the song Caviteño Ako goes, Caviteño are said to be lahing bayani, marangal, tapat, at may prinsipyo. Kahit saang lugar, hindi papatalo. Ipagmamalaki mo sa buong mundo. Just as we are proud of our people, we are also proud of our crafts. And we will find out more of this in my city, my SM, my crafts. A joint project of SM, the Bureau of Domestic Trade, CITEM, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, and the Philippine Star. This campaign celebrates the creativity and innovative spirit of Filipino artisans who fashion crafts from indigenous materials. It also highlights the livelihood programs that make it possible to promote these products in the national and international markets. Bacoor is a first-class urban city known for its abundance of gifts from the sea. Mussels, oysters, crabs, and shrimps as it is located on the fringe of Manila Bay. Fishing, as well as mussel and oyster culture, are among the main sources of income for Bacoor Neos. Because of this, the city government has launched a livelihood program that transforms seashells into picture frames, alarm clocks, lamps, and home decor. Ang live aid office ay nagsimula noong 2007 nang maging mayor si Mayor Strike Revilla ng Bacoor. Although merong existing during the past administration pero hindi siya na-explore ng tutulad ngayon. So I was appointed as the live aid officer, uh, officer in charge ng training center. Uh, nagsimula ito since 2000, I think 2009. 2009, nung nag-meet kami ng Department of Trade and Industry, uh, nakipag-courtesical ako kay Provincial Director Noli Ibarra uh, para lalong maitingin ang pangkabuhayan sa Bacoor. So from then, uh, nag-meeting kami, nag-guan kami pati ng mga pisiledo, yung sa cooperative natin. So they encouraged me na ipaayusin ko yung uh, tahong shell namin, crop, tahong shell crops, at ultimo pati yung aming tahong meat. So last year, uh, we finally launched a uh, one town, one product na from the city hall of Bacoor. So ang tahong shell crops ay talaga nakita namin na marami palang uh, sa out of tahong shells, marami palang magagawang iba-ibang mga art crafts. Kung meron tayong mga candle holder, meron tayong mga tray, tapos meron, uh, meron pa tayong mga tissue holder, meron mga picture frames, at iba pa. Na talagang hanggang ngayon ay nagro-research kami 
para mas lalo namin mapalawak yung uh, mga iba-ibang produkto out of the home shelters. Ang pinaka-dream ko as an elected officer ng city government ng Bacoor, yung makilala ang Bacoor bilang isang uh, tahong shelter na maker. Yan. Kaya nga kami, we keep on exploring, uh, we keep on researching kung ano pa yung pwedeng gawin namin out of the home shelters. Uh, siguro the greatest uh, achievement in my life as an officer, kasi alam mo naman, hindi man tayo dito forever, yung makita at ma makwanto na one day, nung wala na ako dito, makwanto na, oh, umunlad ang Bacor dahil sa livelihood. Dahil uh, kumi, nagkaroon na maraming hanap buhay ang mga taga Bacor dahil sa livelihood. At yun lang yung amin din ko ni Mayor Strike TV. Located in a picturesque spot by the side of the road in Silang, Cavite, Abundant Place is the perfect location to relax and unwind after a fun-filled day in Tagaytay. The handicrafts store owned by Pastor Dong Cano also houses a restaurant in front and a prayer garden out back. Abundant Place is also known for its handcrafted curtains, draperies, curtain holders made from seashells and capiz, and other native products. Sir Dong, magandang umaga po sa iyo. Morning naman din sa iyo. Uh -huh. Okay, umpisaan po natin itong ating uh, pag-uusapan na po. Okay, uh, okay. Siguro po, umpisaan natin kung paano po nagsimula itong uh, business owner niyo na abundant place. Okay. Uh, nagsimula ito nung napagod ako magtrabaho kasi since bata pa ako, nag-start na ako ng work. So parang nakita ko na walang nangyayari doon sa pagtatrabaho ko. So I, start, I started to think na parang maganda siguro magbi-business. Yun po nag-start ang abundant. Okay, from, from my little salary, nag, nag, nagbubukod ako ng pakunti-kunti. And then actually, nag-start ang abundant handicrafts from the capital of 300 pesos. Ang usual, ang, ang simula ng produkto namin ay nag, ano kami sa bag. Kasi do, during that time, parang maganda yung bag, bag na business. So nag-start kami ng mga, mga native na bag. Isa sa kasi sa ginagawa namin dati ay yung balabal, yung shawl. Okay, so from the shawl, nagiging kurtina siya. So, yan yun ngayong nakikita natin dito. So, nag-explore na kami from the shawl, sa kurtina, canopy, kulambo. Yun, yun, yun ang na-explore namin. From, ano, from our raw materials na galing sa dagat, ano, yung mga corals, mga shells, mga iba't ibang mga indigenous na sa paligid lang natin, uh, inaano namin sila, dinidevelop namin sila sa yun, mga strand na ginagawa namin kurtina. So, ano po mga sinaserve niyo po dito? Alam ko ito, isa to sa mga sinaserve niyo. Yun, ito ang, ito ang aming tinatawag na palitaw. Ito ngayon aming specialty sa aming coffee, coffee ano, abundant cafe. Sir Dong, maraming maraming salamat. Okay, salamat naman. Ang sa amin dito sa inyong lugar. Alam ko, busy-busy kayong tao. 